Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for another virtual campground tour. Whew, man, it's been a crazy couple of days. You'll see that my steed for the day is the Valkyrie, the Vituvia e-bike. Little Red is dead again. Just flat out died on me yesterday as I was finishing up the Friendship Park tour. So today we're going to explore Flat Rock Park on Horge Creek Lake using the e-bike. The Valkyrie. Let's get you mounted. We're going to try it at this level to start. We might have to make adjustments as we go. Now there's a very, very real possibility, likelihood, that we're going to see some white-tailed deer. Because there are a lot. I saw about six of them as, as I came across the dam and they went back this way. So Flat Rock Park is on the south side of Horge Creek Lake, which is uh, about 20 miles from Coleman, Texas. Out in the, on the very, very northern edge of the Texas Hill Country. There are lots of deer and other wildlife in this park. Now the gate up here is closed, so we'll have to be sneaky. There's a, a walkthrough area. And it doesn't say it's off limits. The gate's just closed. The park, this park is actually closed down for the winter. So there's no water, no electricity. There's no camping. And Horge Creek Lake is so low that there's the swimming, <laughs> the beach. You can't get to the water. The boat ramps can't get to the water. But we're going to explore it so that if you come out here during the summer, you'll know what to expect. I'm not very experienced riding the e-bike just yet, so we'll take it easy going through here. So there's a park host. All right, I'll have to do some just some judicious editing. There we go. We'll come back to the swim area. Ah, 
of sunshine. I haven't had very much sunshine. I had sunshine yesterday morning as we got in the truck to leave Colorado City, Lake Colorado City, and then it just clouded over. By the time we got to Horge Creek, it was gray and gloomy. There we go. There's two. We'll close out at the swim area. It is the week of Thanksgiving 22. Group site number two. I'll play one thing for Horse Creek Lake. Both campgrounds have group meetings in mind. Especially on this, the other side of the lake. If you haven't already, go back to a week ago Sunday and watch the Friendship Park episode. You'll, if, if you're into group RV camping, you'll be blown away. They've got at least five group RV sites over there. Really nice setup. been this far in so uh, I don't have a whole lot to say <laughs> other than what I've already said Shelters, I guess, is a better term. There's some RV sites. Those are pretty, pretty sloped. back over here. This is the boat ramp. For my boat ramp. Fans. You're going to be disappointed. And that's also a fishing platform there. But the boat ramp, there's only one boat ramp that's actually usable right now from what I've seen. And that's over by the dam. That was in the Friendship Park video. 
There's your boat ramp. But that one might might be usable, but it's not usable if you can't get through the gate. maybe four adults came out of the weeds onto the road that was about a hundred yards ahead of us when I took my foot off the accelerator and started slowing down and the pigs just kept coming there were at least three little three groupings of piglets Jokes, maybe pigs, and they just kept coming and coming. <laughs> uh, I ended up locking down the brakes and just barely missed the last two. Keep your eyes open for the wild pigs. Those are mobile speed bumps. think that the safer place if, they, if they're in the ditch they think the safer place is on the other side of the road so they run across or run right in front of you kind of like to have a death wish Yesterday evening, after dark, and man, the stars were just super bright. Hardly any light pollution at all. Oh, and 
to be done out here. Another boat ramp. Well, now these are cool. The decks, platform. Squeaky brake sounds like a dang cricket. It's irritating. I like that slide. I don't know what number it is. I like that one too. They all look, look like they haven't been open for a while. Didn't know that. All right, now we gotta go all the way back out. Must be spam. Pretty sure it wasn't a bald eagle because its head was not white. 
So I'm not sure what it was. Big playground structure. Shelter number four. The volleyball. Every one of these group shelters is a volleyball court. 230 amp plugs in each pedestal. Most of them have had a horseshoe pit. Area four. That's a cool sight. Looks to be the end of the area. That's this wing. We gotta go the other way now on area four. Make the loop de loo. Usually you can see that. Two 
sides. One with a cabin, one with a deck. cut back in when we get to that road. Oh, made it all the way back out, almost to the exit. There's one last area down here to explore. I have been very impressed with Flat Rock Park. Go this way first. Well, these are all pull through sites. That's cool, big pull through site. With trees. We need to run back up and get that other side, and then we'll go down to the bottom of the hill. Flat. Got a few down on this this little loop. Two of them. Down here by their lonesome. Those would be small trailer sites though. Although I, I could I could get Trudy into that one. 103. It would be a bit of a navigational challenge. Let's go see some beach stuff. We'll cruise back through here, in case you just want to see that again.
such a pretty camper. Road ends in Lake. We want to avoid that. Another boat ramp over there. Of course, it's going to be closed. And it hasn't been used in a very long time. I, I can say that. In with confidence because of the amount of grass. I think this is pretty well a great place to stop and cool the battery. Hey, I really appreciate you stick. If you're still with me at this point, man, thank you. Post in the comments down below how you felt about this bicycle virtual tour it's different from my scooter tours in a lot of ways some ways easier some ways not but anyway tell me what your thoughts are and if you've not already i'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button and for those of you who have been following along <laughs> that's, that's why i'm here i would literally never have come here if it wasn't for y'all thank you for that this has been such a treat and for my patrons. I'm so grateful. You rock! Alright, y'all come back now, you hear?